Look at that. All the turrets we had to defend the base are gone. Except for this one, which I ironically didn't get its power on. Let them do whatever it is that they're going to do. I don't care. Let them do it. Yeah, of course, just break my solar generators. Just because. You know, why not? Don't bother stealing any of this weapons and other random stuff lying around that's actually cool. Nah, nah, nah. Break down his solar generators. They're going to destroy my coolers? Are you kidding me? These raiders will just attack anything that they can. Uh, oh, he's going to blow this thing up and it's going to blow him up. And it's going to be great. Wait for it. Come on. There we go. That's what you get, son of a bitch. Hey, lads and ladies, I'm the Jawsome One, and welcome to the next episode of RimWorld Zombie City. Episode 1 and 2 I should mention and talk about really quick. Uh, I've had a bit of an issue with the sound quality. For starters, I talked way too loud and I really messed up the mic. And it just, it was a huge problem. That shouldn't have been happening. So uh, I apologize for that. I changed and I adjusted the volume settings for OBS and for voice meter so that my voice comes out louder and with more clarity. So that uh, other people who are listening to devices that may not be able to go, go very loud can actually hear my voice. It's funny because I, I had no idea that that was a problem until it was pointed out by one of my subscribers and so I went ahead and I fixed that. And yeah, that's everything I wanted to say before we begin here, other than the fact that uh, that her death here, Hoover, entirely my fault. I should have fed her. Speaking of which, Joel here, before I even start, yeah, zero food. He is dying from malnutrition at the moment. Feed him quackers and then <clears throat> we'll be ready to start. Man, look at what terrible condition all of our stuff is in. Look at this. Everything is so badly damaged. We have a medical emergency on Emmy and Quacker. What's wrong with Emmy? Oh, she has an infection? Her immunity is at 71%, so it has been getting worked on. Actually, Quackers, you tend to her, and then you can feed Joel. Where are you going, Megumi? Because if you're moving to take out Quackers, I'm going to have to step in with some of that divine intervention. What if I do this real quick? Yeah, I think he is moving up to take on Quackers. So Quackers, come on indoors. Uh, Emmy, no, I wanted you to go to bed. Ooh. What if I made you tend to yourself? Yeah. Both of you just come on inside. He is absolutely going to take shots at, probably at Emmy, but she has a shield. So, she should be fine. Yep. Okay, you two are gonna be fine. Now, you may- oh. You may no longer leave. Let's wait for Megumi to leave, and then I'll have, I suppose myself, if I'm not too injured. 1.55, that's only a little bit slower than Emmy, and he is closer to the wall anyways. So, I'll have myself come down here and build this wall. The zombies are causing quite a havoc. Let's enjoy the show meanwhile. So this is finally now working as it should be. I should have been getting zombies a long time ago. As you guys know, let me pull it up for you real quick just to prove it to you. Okay? So zombie land settings. Their rage level is set to low. Zombies recover in injuries but are easy to kill. I'm supposed to be getting all of these types of zombies. Days until they show up. Four. Never more than 5,000 total zombies. And then this colony multiplier of 6.5 times. This means that, okay, see, yeah, if you want to play with very few colonists but want the number of zombies to be high, with this multiplier, you can tell that your, your that you can tell Zombieland that your colony is X times more capable of defending itself. This will increase the number of zombies for when you really want that challenge. Now, maybe the only reason that these zombies... Uh, have been so easy on us is because my colonists are all injured. If perhaps I wasn't acting to defend my colony from the very first raid when the zombies were initially showing up, maybe they wouldn't be like this. And that's the only explanation I can think of at the moment. I should have, I should have been having about 600 zombies on the map. Yet this, for whatever reason, hasn't been the case for the longest time. 
And I don't know the reason why. Oh, Costa here is about to get Jim accosted. Oh, never mind. He's fine. What are you doing, Costa? You're pathing through a tree, but there's a zombie. Yep, and you deserve that. That was dumb. You don't walk right up to zombies yet. I really, I've always kind of hated how dumb they are. They don't go out of their way to fight the zombies and recognize them as a threat. So they just, they just walk right on up to them. Even if I specify in the mods that for, uh, for other pawns to naturally regard zombies as a threat, they still seem to just ignore them. And I don't understand why. How are the zombies doing over here? Oh. Ah, I see. Wait, no, it wasn't Kina. Who was it in the last video? There was a guy. There was a guy, and I was like, he's gonna come in here and save the day, and he was like right over here. Was it this guy? I don't remember his name being Kina. No, it must have been something else. Surely. Ooh, is it this guy? No. It's not Ryan, and it's not... Whatever your name is. Flea. Flea. What a name. Speaking of things that are interesting. Yeah, Magumi is distracted. Come down here and repair this wall. Magumi is also injured. What did you get hit from? Zombie bites. Yep, and he will be dead in six hours. And he will certainly be infected. The outlanders from Mavisan have given up and are fleeing. Good. And you know what? I need to prioritize this immediately. Because this is just absurd. The amount of damage that we've taken just by randos breaking on in here and doing damage. So what is a good material we have to work with? Something that's nearby. See, I'm still genuinely curious. How was... Oh, Emmy's down. Um, your immunity is actually winning, so rescue her. Take her to bed. Now, back to what I was trying to do before. We may end up losing a colonist now thanks to all of this, which is um, just a huge shame and really, I don't know what I could have done better. I really don't. The zombies weren't showing up like they should have. The raiders were just too many. Way too many. I could I don't I don't see how I could have done this much better. Other than, you know, not having messed up in the first place with uh whatever it was that caused Emmy to leave the zone. You don't have an infection, do you? Good. At least one of us is gonna be guaranteed to live pretty much. And Quackers is probably also going to live. Which is uh which is good. I'm I'm happy, but I'm not happy at the same time. This is just this has been ridiculous. Oh, hey, Dweeb. You came back to your little pit, huh? Do you like being over here? Let me cancel this. And this. Connie's need rescue. Quackers also fell down. Okay. Drinking coffee at a time like this? No. Rescue and rescue. You dummy. Oh, the spider! It's dead. So is he. And so so will you be. Due to, yeah, se severe malnutrition because you're not going to break out. Here comes Aaron. And she completely healed up from the damage that I did to her. Really? Where are you going to go rest? Oh, in here, huh? Let me also claim that door, because I, I noticed in that last video, when those raiders came in, they just walked right through that door, so I didn't claim it. Ooh, heavy SMG, is that good? Might be better than what I currently have. Okay, you're saving everybody. Now please... No, Joel was fed. Joel was fed. Emmy's gonna need to be fed, and probably crack Quackers as well. I'll leave this door open for now, which I know, I know that's proven to be a bad decision in the past. For obvious reasons, but I could probably just have Quackers get up. Emmy, I think, is going to die because of her infection. Wait, no! Her immunity's actually caught up pretty fast. I suppose that's the power of using the best medicine. Wow, I'm so glad we have this stuff. Now, how long will it take before we run out? Uh, not long, sadly. That looks so weird to me. I have to I have to remove that. That's so it looks so wrong. Bee infested trees. They look like birch trees. Yeah, feed the pemmican to Emmy. And then come pick up this HMG. I'm pretty sure HMGs are really strong. Terrible accuracy. It fires five shots, each doing 14 damage. I don't know, I don't like how inaccurate that is. Maybe it'd be better to equip you with a battle rifle. So here the accuracy is much more variant and it looks like it increases if you're at a medium if your target's at a medium distance. Fires only two shots, though. Uh, wait, what about the warm-up time and stuff like that? So range cooldown is pretty long, and so is the warm-up. Mini grenades. These things are devastating. I kind of want to keep these. A steel gladius is certainly better than your nothing. Heavy SMG. Okay, here we go. 
Here's one that's actually in the basin. It's not deteriorating that bad. It's warm up and range cooldown are not that bad. Does 12 damage, three bullets, range of 23. That's really not that bad. A musket. These things are just. This is just ridiculous. Look at, look at how bad the range cooldown and warm up is. No, no. Keep that thing away from me. And also this thing. This thing is just unfair. Now that is just a broken weapon. Zombies are all dead. Only down to 60, huh? And I guess they're all over here. Whatever happened to the zombies that were up here? Oh no, this is, yeah, this is where most of the zombies are. Looks like somebody lit them all on fire. And this thing was probably shooting at them too. And then it broke down at some point. Another raid. I'm not dealing with another raid right now. I'm not dealing with it. I know why this is happening too from, oh yeah, here we go. Decided to steal with the candle leaf. You know what? Go ahead and do that and then just go. I don't mind that at all. Where are these guys all going? Are these guys part of that raid? Four people running in perfect unison together. We don't know what they're planning. We don't know where they're going. Oh, they're coming over here to fight the, the tank. Emmy, how is your condition? She's gonna live. She's gonna live and all it's costing her so far is an ear. Ooh, is he moving to attack that uh, zombie? Go get him. No, he's pathing around it. No, he's, he's gonna go, he's gonna go get it. He got it! He got it, boys. You know what? They might just they might just kill those tanks. Look at Estelle over here. Estelle is just charging right into the danger. Let me at him! Why'd you shoot me? They're shooting their own people! There's still barely any zombies on the map though, and I really don't like that. I don't understand that at all. It just it's so unreasonable that the game is behaving this way. Consuming fruit juice, yep. Oh, crackers. Downed again. Oh, he's entered a catatonic state, huh? Final straw was badly malnourished. Well, buddy, dude. Uh, Emmy, I may soon need you to, uh, take care of this wall. Somebody's gonna break through that wall again eventually. It's just gonna happen. It's time to just accept that that's how it's gonna be. Well, look at that, they're actually moving in to, like, help fight each other fight off these zombies. Low-key, that kind of makes me happy. They're actually looking out for each other. And the other, the other playthrough that I've been doing on the side, uh, they didn't do that for each other <laughs> at all. I didn't get raided as often. I didn't get raided as often either. I made it through about three raids, and the zombies came in naturally, like they were supposed to, about 600, and they kept coming, kept coming, and uh, the raiders and the zombies and then my people fought enough that we were able to take care of things, and eventually. Well, I'll let you find out what actually happens when you survive long enough. Quackers, yep, starving. That's just what happens when you go into a catatonic state. They need to recover. And in order to help them recover, I need to keep the zombies coming in. I don't know why they're not coming in like they're supposed to. There's literally... Okay, there's literally no difference in the zombie land settings between this one and the other playthrough that I'm doing. And we're just going to keep the number at 600. There we go, so now we're gonna have the proper amount of zombies, as we should have had them. The game's gonna lag a little bit as it loads them all in, has them all crawling up through the ground, loads that, plays that animation. Why are you playing chess all the way over here? Why can't you people just be normal? Yeah, I think I wanted my rec room over here, didn't I? Oh wow, this should have been deconstructed. Maybe if I claim structures, I can just let the raiders destroy them. If I claim all of these things, the raiders will just eventually, they'll just, they'll just destroy them. Am I suddenly just not able to claim these things? You're telling me sometimes I can claim the solar generators and sometimes I just, I can't? Because reasons? Yeah, good luck boys. They're all, they're all dead. That's, even just a hundred is too many. Uh, rip that rhino. Rest in pepperoni's latch. Oh. Okay, you're just hungry. You're actually not even more close to dead. Feeding Dark Young Sap. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I, apparently, Dark Young Sap... People like that. It's very sweet sap, squeezed from an orifice of one of the foul children of Shub Nigurath. Nigurath. Another interesting thing I want to point out is that these people are actually pretty well armed. I'm used to dealing with people that are just very poorly armed. That's how it is in the other... Not the other series, but one of the other playthroughs, I remember 
Oh yeah, it's because it was these guys. These guys are very poorly armed if they ever are to raid you and become your enemy. Like, they have really bad weaponry. Oh no, Pepper. Run, Pepper. Get out of there. Larry, that shield isn't going to do you anything good. Yeah. They ate him! They ate the, the councilman, even though they're literally ghosts. What? He's incapacitated, though. He's not dead yet. When is he gonna... I, I don't know what's gonna happen when he dies. Because I think they count as, like, the leaders. Ooh, that, that was an explosion. I felt that. I want to see what happens as soon as he dies, though. No, I got I gotta see what this explosion is coming from. Okay, it's Teresa over here, and... Ooh, it has... Yeah, okay, Mother Teresa just going to town. Look at that, they've really cut down the population. We spawned in six of them, right? We spawned in 600. They've already taken their numbers down to 200. But we've also taken down their numbers. I'm just gonna spawn in zombies, though, every time I get a raid. Every time I see one, I'm gonna spawn in zombies. I think it's fair after everything that's been happening. Whoa! Um... I'm glad that that didn't get fired. Vaughn and Tara are down. This entire group was was defeated. It's an, it was inevitable. It was gonna happen. Who, except for except for Etarian, who is currently struggling with a lot of malnutrition. Naturally, uh, that's what I tend to struggle with, you know. Oh, Mean over here is just yep dying slowly. I swear, this malnutrition is killing them faster than we could, the faster than we ever could. Oh hey, Waka's down at last. Surprisingly, for, do, will he just not eat that flower, really? Do you have good gear that's worth stripping? Yeah, you do. You have good stuff for dealing with the cold. You have ballistic goggles, which reduce aiming time. You have marine boots, which increase your movement speed. Okay, those just minimize your minimum comfortable temperature. Yeah, you've got some good stuff on you, actually. Uh, Emmy. Erica over here has finally been... Oh, my goodness. She got what's gotten to... She got what what was coming to her. Actually, I don't think this is the same Erica. She doesn't have her axe. Outlanders from Evisa... Well, we got that already. That they're fleeing. So I don't know what you're talking about. Enemy mercenary gunner. Are they just like... Is this just like a person from some raid like a super long time ago that I just forgot about? Enemy town councilman. So now you're the new town councilman, huh? After that one died? And you're a person I can actually click on now. Uh, an assault rifle. Which obviously is AR, don't you guys know? Alright, I'm gonna speed up time until... Until I'm finally able to do things or until something interesting happens. That is a uranium halberd and I want it. Okay, fine. It's not that great, but still, it's it's a uranium halberd. I can not be excited for that. I want it. Uh, Josh, you let yourself on fire. All you've ever gotten was just a bruise. But now you're on fire, so... Ooh, service rifle. Excellent condition. Damage is 10. Four shots. It's 40 damage. It's got good... It's got good uh, accuracy. Its range cooldown isn't that bad. It's, if it's less than three seconds, I, I tend to accept those guns. As long as it's less than three seconds total with the ranged cooldown and the warm-up then I, I'm willing to accept those guns. Oh, liver action rifle is not that bad. Look at this. The total cooldown for firing it is 1.4 seconds, but it doesn't fire very many shots, and it only does 10 damage. But still, I think that's a good way to train on your shooting. It's like a good weapon for that sort of thing. Ah, that's exactly what I was talking about. Several groups of, outland of outlanders have arrived and are attacking immediately. All right, here we go, 600 more zombies. Yeah, this is where the second group has come in. Well, that'll be all for this episode of RimWorld Zombie City. Stay tuned, and uh, more stuff will be coming up in the future. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.